The governor also announced FEMA approved disaster relief assistance for Craven County, and parts of that county remain underwater tonight. As WNCT's Elizabeth Two reports, the journey to recovery is projected to take some time. As the flood waters recede and Craven County residents try to head back into their homes, there are a few challenges ahead. Many roads remain underwater, like Ange Road in Vanceboro. Driveways and front yards are still submerged, making travel impossible. Emergency Services Director Stanley Kite says the county suffered substantial damage during the hurricane, and he says it will be a long time before repairs can start. And until some of the water has receded, they're not going to be able to actually physically do repairs work because of the flow of water going through that that area. It's also doing additional damage that's not necessarily visible from the top side but below the asphalt. There are also health concerns for residents returning to flooded homes like contaminated drinking water. And if you have a drinking well um, our environmental health staff will be on hand to assist you with that. Please don't try to uh, consume water from a well that's been submerged with flood water. The county will offer free well testing in the next few weeks. Countywide emergency services received over 100 calls during Matthew, with about 50 of those coming from the northwest part of the county near Vanceboro. In Craven County, Elizabeth Two, 9 on your side.